Hi, I'm Vernaz and welcome to Low Carb Keto Recipes and Having Fun. So today I have yet another exciting recipe for you. So we're standing in my kitchen. Let's get cooking and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell. So let's begin. We take, uh, you can take a blender or your Nutribullet and put in one cup of pork rinds. Then we put in half a cup of shredded mozzarella, cheddar or a mixture of the two, any cheese you like. And we just blitzing it for a bit in the mixer just to see it all gets blended. And then we add two medium eggs to it and blend again as soon as we blend again we're going to see that it's going to come into a pasty mixture so we're going to take all of that out and put it into a mixing bowl so that we put our next and last ingredient we're going to be putting one fourth of a cup of lupin flour please see that you use the sweet lupin flour get the right one and now we are going to bring all this into a dough and it comes into a beautiful a bit sticky dough but really really nice dough this dough can be used i'm going to put it into uh, use for many other things soon uh, so i'm kneading it well and it'll all come together just remember we have not melted the cheese at all so now I'll in as in low carb keto cooking we put it onto our doughs onto in between two parchment papers and i'm going to bring this into well a sort of a rectangle it doesn't really matter because i'm going to show you what i'm going to be doing it's not like i'm going to be rolling it in but i'm going to use parts of the dough to cover the sausages oh yeah do see that you have the hot dog sausages which are already pre-cooked okay now that i've rolled out the door i pull out the top parchment paper and uh, i these sausages of mine these hot dogs are really big so i'm cutting them into two you take a part of the door and wrap it around don't worry if it breaks up you're going to literally pick up and work this dough onto the sausage like you would do play dough and make it into really a smooth mixture around the hot dog it should be covered all over as well as um, any little bit that's showing through pick a bit of the dough and wrap it in and as you can see how i'm putting it between my hands and making it really smooth now i've used these wooden skewers and i put it into it the typical uh, corn dog look and uh, i'll do a few more and show you how they turn out it's a very nice dough to work with and for this next one what i've done is that i've kind of oiled my hands to make it easier it's not necessary but it kind of i think you can uh, work the dough around the hot dog uh, a little easier so now i'm taking another one see this time i've not even rolled it i've literally pulled out parts of the dough and i am putting it all around making it smooth and completely covered and it's don't worry it's really really easy and back to putting a wooden skewer through it and um, i'll do all of them and we will get pretty big like six corn dogs out of this dough and uh, now we're going to move across after they're done we're going to move across to my stove top and uh, put in some oil now a lot of people ask me what oil to use I don't know if many people use this but it's refined coconut oil which has got a very high smoking point and it is tasteless the unrefined one is the one that has the coconut flavor the refined one is amazing to cook and it's not as expensive as ghee and uh, it really works well it has no odor no smell nothing so uh, now i've put in two corn dogs to show you how beautifully they fry up in the oil and um, 
it's almost to three fourth of the height of the corn dogs and i'm rolling them around it'll take you you lit you can literally see in real time how they are turning golden brown and they are fluffy and absolutely yummalicious and so beautifully they come out they look like you bought them from a hot dog stand and look at these beautiful babies don't miss making this recipe honestly your kids are going to love it your grandkids and you look at the lovely bready outer layer so do enjoy this and uh, do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell for all my future videos thanks then